I used to think the UK was a tragedy, but now I realise it's a comedy. Soaring knife crime, skyrocketing violent crime across the country, acid attacks, police saying they won't respond to burglaries, but you know what they will respond to? Racist toddlers take a bow, Devon and Cornwall police. Stop playing with those. You're gonna make the toys dirty like your skin. In our school, every lesson is somehow linked to diversity. It used to be the odd lesson where we talked about diversity, but now it never stops. But wait, believe it or not, there are more important things for police to investigate than racist toddlers, like the hate crime of someone being refused a porn role because they're transgender. Yes, in the UK, someone refusing to film your meat and two veg is a potential hate crime. <laughs> Two Indian boys racially abused a group of African-American girls at a football game in New Jersey. And you know who's to blame for that? White people! No, seriously. Two Indian kids yelled the N-word at some black girls and this New York Times columnist said their race didn't matter because they were, quote, enacting whiteness. <laughs> Smirking while white will earn you nationwide condemnation from the entirety of the media, leading a mass murder cult responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, though. Austere religious scholar. <laughs> so shut up! And you stop it! You are a white male! Uh, you true. stop it! You are a white male! You know what else is racist? Diets. Black women, when we do the same diets as white women, we lose less weight and we lose it slower. This lady, she's lecturing you about diets. <laughs> our stress responses in the body change our metabolism. It's literally that the racism that you're experiencing and the struggle to make ends meet actually means the diet don't work for you the same. Wait, 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 let me guess. This is Trump's fault, isn't it? You're gonna blame it on Trump. We are living in the Trump era, and look, those policies kill our people. <laughs> you know what else is racist? SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm gonna say the N-word. <laughs> you know what else is racist? Not being racist. Racist. Also, black jack-o'-lanterns. Racist. <laughs> White parents, if you really want to prove that you're not racist, you should send your teenage daughters on unaccompanied walking holidays in the tribal regions of North Pakistan. And that's why Titania's the funniest parody account on Twitter. Despite the insanity of our times, she still manages to stay one step ahead. Because no one would advocate young women travelling alone to some of the most dangerous countries on earth, would they? Would they? British backpacker goes missing after beach party in Cambodia. The 21-year-old was travelling on her own. Oh, that's how a civilization dies. Without worries, without danger or drama, and with very little carnage. A civilization just dies of weariness, of self-disgust. Life is still worthwhile if you just smile. Why so pessimistic, Paul? Surely you have faith in your own generation. Surely there's hope in millennials. <laughs> yeah, no. Nearly 60% of millennials agreed that the Constitution, quote, goes too far in allowing hate speech in modern America and that the First Amendment should be rewritten. I mean, why defend freedom of speech when the freedom to serve beer with your ass is so much more fundamental? When you're in your 30s and the idea of leaving the house on a Friday night sounds exhausting. Soy face. <laughs> but I get it. Sometimes it's hard to live up to traditional standards of masculinity. So GQ magazine has discovered New masculinity. Wearing earrings, giant sleeping bag dresses, and crying. So masculine. Because having a net worth of $150 million is such a struggle. The bottom line is to completely smash heteronormativity. That's what we want to do. <laughs> so masculine. This is why the terrorists hate us. <laughs> or maybe that is. Or maybe that. No, 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 wait.
This is why the terrorists hate us. When I'm feeling insects crawling all over me, it creates this sensation that washes up and down my body that's just pure pleasure. And feeling that, that closeness with these creatures makes me feel wonderful and loved inside. Putting your penis into a container and then filling that container with earthworms. Uh, the worms will writhe and move in a way that provides an interesting and exciting physical sensation. Literally having sex with a can of worms. So trendy, so masculine. There are definitely folks who have concerns around consent. I don't worry over much about issues of consent if I'm talking about a maggot. Yeah, because that's obviously the weirdest thing about putting your knob in a jar of worms, whether the worms consented or not. And I had someone say to me at a class once, she said, uh, you know, well, that, that earthworm hasn't consented to being on your genitals. You actually had a real conversation with someone about whether earthworms consented to be writhing around on your genitals. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. If you bring genitals into it, people get weird. Gee, I wonder why. I, I just simply enjoy the sensations of the insects. The ants and earthworms are, are probably the two most frequent ones I play with. This gives a whole new meaning to the term bug chaser. There's uh, a safe way to insert earthworms into um, the urethra. All right, that's enough, stop. I think that if our society can get to a place of acceptance of people's desires. No, there should be no societal acceptance of you inserting worms into your cock. That's fucking disgusting. Broke, I'd rather not eat bugs. Woke, eat bugs to save the planet. Bespoke, include bugs in your sex life. I will not live in a pod. I will not eat insects. I will not fuck insects. <laughs> but at least femininity is thriving, right? At least we don't have a generation of damaged young women with daddy issues ruining everything. Fuck. Fathers, I've met so many nice mums, cool mums, gay mums, so many mums I can have interesting conversations with. But every father I've ever met has been some varying degree of misogynist, racist, classist, and hyper-masculine and can't hold a fucking conversation by my nudes, YT. <sighs> we need a female reboot of The Joker, a woman who's just fucking had it with misogyny, old white men trying to deny access to healthcare, lack of representation, unequal pay, sexism, being told to smile, being fearful, objectification. Make the movie a female rage. No one wants to watch a movie about a middle-aged white woman asking to see the manager. <laughs> Lindsay Till loves to spin around the pole in her living room with her husband and three children. Her son is 11 and her daughters are three and five years old. This is why we need Sharia law. Oh. This is all wrong. My days passed increasingly painfully in the absence of tangible events and of reasons for living. I watched the movements of the sun on the tiles. I knocked back bottles of Cardinal Mendoza brandy. And that was more or less it. <laughs> My voice is being silenced by free speech hating Silicon Valley giants who want me disappeared forever. It's absolutely crucial that you support me by donating at Subscribestar. It's also vital that you sign up for my free newsletter at summit.news forward slash newsletter so we never lose contact. And please support my sponsor Turboforce, the powerful new energy drink without the come down. Link in description.